1995, I was working for a PR agency. And we were tasked to create a journalism scholarship program for Jarvin Davis. So we wanted to make it a unique scholarship program because we didn't think it would happen again. Parang one time, big time. So what we did was we wanted to find poor but deserving journalism students who had passed the UPCAT but would not go to UP because they couldn't afford it even if the tuition was free. So we worked with the college to uh, find these students and we sent them letters uh, encouraging them to apply for the scholarship. So we got all sorts of letters from all over the country. But one day we got one application uh, was hand delivered to us. Um, it was uh, nabilag sa araw, so crinkly night paper. The essay was unreadable because it was soaked in water. And we found out that the application package was found on the mother of the applicant uh, who had drowned in the MV Antipode, uh, in that which sank. So she was on her way to Manila with the documents. And she was found clutching the envelope holding the documents. So, syempre, iyakan yung buong office, di ba? Kailangan natin maipasok kung batang to sa scholarship program na to. And so, we called him. We um, sent him to Manila. He arrived. He was so small. He was from Mariluque. So small, sobrang payat, na panay pimples. Yung talagang alam mong, alam mong mahirap. So, sabi namin, Diyos ko, paano natin ito palulusutin? So, kinoach namin ang kinoach. The final uh, interviews were going to be conducted by Max, Max Oliver, si apat na editors yung kinuha namin, eh. si Max Oliver, si Teddy Boy Loxin, si Malu Mangahas, and Letty Magsano. So, sobrang stringent ng maliging application process. They were billeted in the Mandarin Oriental. We even had to teach them how to use the hot shower, how to flush properly. Talagang grabe yung pinagtaanan nilang ano. But we were determined that this boy was going to get in. And he did. So he was able to, um, it was a very generous package. May lahat ng housing, books, meron silang living allowance. We even made sure that they had um, vacation money para pag Christmas makakauwi sa sila sa pamilya nila kasi that's important for mental health of the students and then talagang we held their hands through their first year nabuli pa ito ng mga taga-kalayaan pinapagshine siya ng boots na sinubot talaga namin sa dorm yung mga bully niya inaway namin tapos we you know we check in with them every few months and he made it he was able to graduate from UP. He worked with GMA for a while, and then he was actually, he, had, he even moved to Singapore to work with Yahoo. So we were so proud. And you know, every year we catch up, he's now married. Uh, and then he moved back to the Philippines recently um, to head PLDT's communication. So we're so, um, ito yung talagang namatay ng dahil sa kanya yung nanay. So, nung inisip ko nga, sabi ko, ano ba yung namata mamatay ng dahil sa'yo? Ito yung hinatid siya, yung huling act ng nanay niya. Is ihatid siya sa future na kung nasan siya. So, now he's with PLDT, he's happily married, his name is Edward Kikadeo.